Hey, Eric, how are you? Hello, teacher. How was your day, Eric? Uh, sad. Ah, why? What happened, Eric? Uh, family. In work? No, in, in privacy. In the, the family problems? Yep. Ah, sorry, Eric. Sorry. Don't worry. It's, it's difficult. Uh, always we have problems with the family, right? Yeah. It's difficult and confused in the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, and, and what are you going to do this weekend, Eric? This weekend? Yes. Uh, well, um, all the all the weekend, I went to the to the field. I like play soccer, so I told you I I went to the, to the field to the soccer field. Okay, and in which soccer field do you go to? Again, Wh which field do you go to? Do you go to Capitalon, Gambit? Eh? Ah, no, no, in, in my in my residential. Ah, okay. In your neighborhood. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we have a basketball field and and soccer field, pools, and parks. Hey, it's nice. Nice. You have many things. Yeah, it's uh, well, I don't like um uh, go to the swimming pool because I don't like the sun. <laughs> <laughs> really? Ah. Yeah. Imagine. I like the cold. I prefer the beach. But the beach has a lot of sun. But I I put the uh, how to say bloqueador solar. Ah, sunblock. So. I put the sunblock, but when I go to the pools, I didn't put the blocks on. Okay. I will. Remember, sunblock. Sunblock. Yes, sunblock. Mm -hmm. I, I, I will. i going to write. Okay. Yeah. Some block. B L O C K, right? Yes. Let me put here in the chat to make it easier for you. It's the sun, the same, the sun, and then we put block. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. And how was your day, teacher? All right. Pretty good. Pretty good, Eric. We're making sure everybody is here. And you know, busy, always busy, a lot of work, a lot of activities, but it's fun, it's good. I like yeah. I like my job. I like that I have always a lot of activities to do. Mm -hmm. oh. Because I always- and you, mm -hmm. you, you teach in university or, or only in, in, in New South Wales? No, 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 I teach, but I teach in, uh, for uh -huh. I teach English, but only only English for different organizations. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes, yes. I work for different organizations and only in English, only teaching English. Mm -hmm. Where? I I have a I have a lot of classes. I begin my first class at seven in the morning. Is my first class. What? <laughs> In this time, I I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> no, wake up? No, it's, ooh, I wake up at 5 o'clock or 4.30. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am asleep at this, <laughs> in this time. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. now that I see we have several people. First, let's check. Are there any questions for the exam for any questions in the in the midterm?
Anybody? Any questions? Is everybody complete? Everybody finished the exam? Yes, teacher. Yeah, I finished my I exam finished yesterday. Excellent, excellent. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear. That's wonderful. Okay. Okay. All right, then. In that case, we can begin with our topic from Unit 4. Okay. And that way we continue. Okay. So in Unit 4, we have, we were talking yesterday, we saw the video about things people have to do. Okay. Sometimes it's obligation in the house. For example, sometimes in the house, you, I don't like, but I have to clean the house. I have to clean the bathroom. Right? These are things that we do. And in when it's not an obligation, we use don't have to. So for obligation, have to. This is almost for third person is doesn't. Okay. Uh, for third person is has to. Doesn't. Has doesn't. to. Mm -hmm. For it doesn't. Correct. For she and it, right? Also is doesn't, but it doesn't have to. Okay. So for I is I have to, but for he, for she and it, the positive is has to, and the negative is doesn't have to, not doesn't has to. This is going to be the difference. So first we're going to review with our partners and just talk about maybe in your job, talk about in the in your house, the different things. Okay. So for example, uh, what are obligations? What are things you have to do in your job? Things you have to do in your company or in your house. Okay. You have to work on Saturdays, for example or you have to clean the bathroom, or you have to different things, okay? Before we begin, do you need any vocabulary? For example, eh, lavar platos, how do you say lavar platos, or eh, sacar la basura, do you need any vocabulary before we begin? No? Repeat, please, teacher. Okay. I don't listen. Okay, no problem. So we are going to practice with have to and has to for you in the house and in the job. What you have to or don't have to do in the house and in the job. For, okay. For example, for me in my house, okay, in my house, I have to clean the bathroom okay but in my house uh, is good for me i don't have to cook uh, i don't have to cook dinner okay and then the same for your house i'm sorry for your job in your job what you have to do and what you don't have to do in the job the question is, what are you doing in your whatever place? The, more or less, I put in the question there. What do you have to do in your, and then the place, okay. in your house, in your job, in your church, in your, uh -huh, in the different place? Grisia, do you see in the chat? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Rosaline, is okay? Any questions? It's okay. It's okay? Okay. So let's make the groups and practice with the group have to and don't have to.
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P. All right, Alex, I'm going to put you in the group. That way you can practice. Hello, teacher. Excuse me. Thank you. You're welcome. P-E-D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right-hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement, tense. And we can do this by simply adding ED. For example, the verb watch towards the right hand side of the chart positive statements
Okay. Let's try some examples and make sure it's clear. Grecia, give me one example in positive. I have to I have to wash the dishes. Okay, very good. Eduardo, give me an example in negative. I the crazy or mio? Yours, yours. Okay. I doesn't have to cook dinner. No, I doesn't have to. Is I what? don't have to. I don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. Doesn't is for he, she. Uh, see, yeah. see. I don't. I don't have to cook dinner. Good. Very good. Gustavo, give me an example in positive. Gustavo Adolfo? I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> no problem, no problem. What do you have to do in your, in your work? I have to clean my, my station. Okay, correct. I have to clean my station. That's good, Gustavo. Very good. Ana Beatriz, give me an example in negative. I don't have to feed the, uh, ¿cómo se dice perico? Ah, parrot. A, a bear, uh, a bear, uh -huh. ave. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es muy okay, okay, Ana, no problem. Good. Uh, Veronica, give me an example in negative. Um... Uh, repeat, please. Give me an example in negative. A negative example, Veronica. No, no comprendo. An example, the, the practice in the group, when you practice in the group is negative. Un ejemplo. Yes, correct, Veronica. Un ejemplo. I do I do in the work. Uh, something you don't have to do, Veronica. Something you don't have to do. Okay, okay. Yes, I don't have to cook dinner. Okay, okay. Good, Veronica. I don't have to cook dinner. Is correct. Alexander, give me an example in positive. Okay, teacher. Um... Uh... I have to do exercise in the morning. Okay, very good. Excellent. So you can hear, everyone can hear the examples for positive is always I have to and then the okay. verb, right? In the negative is I don't have to and then the verb, okay? Is the same. Okay. Okay, good job, good job. Now we're going to continue with the verbs in past tense, okay? This, the topic now is verbs in past. Do you remember verbs in past? Yeah, teacher. Yes? Yeah, teacher. Okay, Eric, what is a regular verb? What is the regular verb? Irregular. Regular. Uh, um, in past teacher? Uh-huh. In past. Uh, well, I know 
I don't know cuáles son los, los verbos irregulares, pero los verbos sí me los sé en, ing en, en inglés, tanto en presente como en pasado. Pero sí diferenciarlos, no sé. Ok, no problem, Eric, no problem. Here I put in the chat, the regular versus irregular. Regular verbs finish in ed. This is the regular verb. For example, work, worked. For example, talk, okay? We put regular, talked in the past tense. This is the, the regular verbs. The irregular verbs change, okay? So when we have irregular verbs, we changed in the past. I put here in the chat. So the, the verbs regulars are in the end. In the end sound is T. In the regular verbs, finish ED. Or D. Finish. So talk, talk. Correct. Worked, worked, worked. Mm -hmm. and for example, your your example is change. Mm -hmm. So, is irregular or regular? Regular. Change it. No, change no, it. no. Change it is the pronunciation changed. Oh, but you see, only we put ed. Only finish with. E D change. So we have the what word is the pronunciation with D changed. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. So we have the word play, played, played. So, uh huh. So regular verbs we put E D. Irregular verbs we change. For example, eat, ate. We have go in the past is went. This is irregular. Okay. Los irregulares son los que cambian en pasado. Correct, Eric. Correct. For example, think. For example, think. The past is thought. Correct, Eric. This is irregular. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. The regular. I understood. Excellent, excellent. The regular only put ed. Irregular verb teacher, eh, según yo entendido, sería go, have, y do, que son los que cambian. Go, have, and do. Oh, I must. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, Ana, hay más. Hay eh, como unos 15 mil. Oh. <laughs> That's it, teacher. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's sí. it. Oh, okay. No, lo más común, it's a little. It's a little. Lo más comunes solo son como unos dos mil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. But I know approximately six six thousand. Six thousand. Okay. okay. Yeah. A lot there. You see? Yeah. yeah. We're going to look a little bit. Okay. We're going to see a small video how to make the words in past. Okay. Let's watch the video. These are simple past statements. These all with regular verbs. Okay. ¿Qué dijimos que son regular verbs? They finish with? ED. 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 Excellent. ED. This is the regular verb. They finish with ed. For example, the positive. The positive only I, the, reg, the verb, studied. You watched. Watched. She stayed. We shopped. They exercised. Okay. And the irregular, the e, the, sorry, the, uh, this is the positive. The, the negative is didn't. Didn't, 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 didn't. So if the answer yes is I studied. If the answer is no is I didn't study. You didn't. So, mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. No, so no. when you, 
-hmm. When you say didn't, the uh, automatically the next verb is in basic form. Correct. Automatically, the next verb is the normal form, the base form. Ah, okay, okay. And the didn't is for the answer no. It is the same for you, she, we, they. Yes, yes, the same. Look, I, you, she, we, they didn't, 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 didn't. Ah, okay, didn't. okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's listen to have an idea. Let's listen for those verbs. Spelling. Watch. Watched. Here. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Ah, you see? W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Here. In this moment, we are practicing here, the spelling. Okay? Listen and practice. Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Okay. First, any questions for the spelling? If I have question with the meaning. Okay. Which, uh, which meaning and which question? Because mm -hmm. shop. So, shop is mm -hmm. comprar, right? Correct. No comprar, but uh, is, is the idea. Mm -hmm. Buy is comprar Buy. too. Correct. Buy is comprar. Mm -hmm. The shop? The compras. Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Well, in the video, the video said, the video said comprar. Yes. No, mm -hmm. But is by is verb. By is the verb. Yes. Also the same shop. Oh. Mm -hmm. Shop is, is a a action. regular verb. By is irregular. Exactly. By is yeah. irregular. Because in the past is both. Correct. Okay. 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 Uh, Ruth, what was the question? Por qué se le agrega otra p? Ah, excellent question, Ruth. Okay. I put into the chat. It's because when have one vowel, okay, then you put one, moment, one vowel plus consonant. Okay. Then you put double. This is the, the this is the instructions, but I give you some examples so you can see. Okay. So for example, we have we shop. The shop only one vowel, the vowel O. Remember the, the vowels A, E, I, O, U. Shop only one. So it's obligation two piece shop example stop stop only one vowel is obligation to be stopped okay for okay. Example, work okay work only one vowel but no two case okay la regla dice que tiene que ser la penúltima La penúltima consonante eh, eh, vocal, la penúltima y es doble. Si no es la penúltima, es normal. For example, word. It's okay, Ruth. 
Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome, Ru. Okay. Let's continue watching the video because it's a lot of information. Let's watch more of the video for the past tense. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. This is okay. This is the structure. Subject, I, you, he, she, we, they, it, the verb in the past tense, whatever verb you select, and the complement. Teacher, what is tense? The tense is the tense is present tense, past tense, past tense. future tense. The tense is the name for time, the past time, ah, okay. the present time. Mm -hmm the future okay. so this is for a positive sentence is the positive ones okay you can see the example i studied on sunday subject verb and complement okay now in negative is the same but subject didn't verb in present and the complement this is the difference. So, for example, in negative is I didn't, and then no studied, but I didn't study on Sunday. Okay. Or you didn't watch, okay, a movie, for example. It was right here. Yeah. That's the idea. A movie. Okay. So, if it's Negative only didn't, but the verb in present. Is this okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now with our partners, we are going to practice. We're going to practice it, making sentences. We have five sentences positive and five sentences negative. Okay. The question is, what did you do? And then we put, for example, what did you do yesterday? Okay. Or what did you do? And then change the day. What did you do last week? Okay. It's okay how to make the question? Teacher. Yes, Alex. Eh, tengo una consulta. Cuando en las terceras personas, cuando respondo al negativo, ahí sí siempre sería didn't. Vea. Correct. That's ahí correct. en pasado no se ocupa el doesn't. Vea. No. Siempre no. se mantiene la, la primera. Ok. Uh -huh. Doesn't is for the present. Doesn't okay. is in the present. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Alex. So we are going to practice the questions. What did you do, for example, on Saturday? And my partner is going to answer. What did you do on Saturday? So we are going to practice five positive answers, five negative answers, OK? Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Yeah, teacher. Yes. Clear. Okay. Excellent. So let's practice in our groups. We make the questions 
and we practice again. Paola, you okay? Any questions? Paola, any questions?
Hi everyone! In this class you'll learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in worked, watched. These verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed, past verbs. The ed ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end. Okay, let's practice. Let's see. Crisia, ask Daniel a question. Okay, Daniel, what did you do last week? Sorry, sorry, repeat. What did you do last week? Oh, mm. <laughs> ¿Qué hiciste la semana pasada? ¿Qué hiciste la semana pasada? Sí, no es que me perdí. Tuve un laxus. <laughs> El que se ríe solo uh, de las maldades se acuerda. Go ahead, Daniel. Answer the question. Uh, why is this? I was at home. Uh -huh, Daniel. I was at home. Uh -huh. What did you do? Yes, uh, I was at home. Uh -huh. What did you do? Mm. La pregunta no es dónde estabas. La pregunta es qué hiciste. Oh. Um, I play video game. Okay, that's fine. Good, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's, I, I played with D. I played video games. I played video games. Okay. okay. Good, Daniel. Daniel, ask Veronica a question. Okay. Where did you, what did you do yesterday? Veronica? Hello, teacher. A mí me hizo la pregunta, Daniel. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, repeat, please, uh, Daniel, for fees. Uh, what, what did you do yesterday, Veronica? Thanks, Roger. Okay. I am watching movies in my house. Okay. I watched. I watched. I watched. Mm -hmm. I watched. Okay. I watched movies in my house. Okay. Veronica, ask Gustavo. 
Okay, um, Gustavo. What did you do in your war yesterday, Gustavo? I work very busy. <laughs> okay, I worked very busy. Ah, okay. I worked very, I worked a lot. I worked a lot. Work a lot busy. Okay. No, no, no busy. No busy, Gustavo. Mm -hmm. I work a lot. Correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cool. Gustavo, ask Eduardo. Eduardo, what do you do in last week? Repeat, Gustavo. What did you do last week? Correct. Hi, Ward. Okay, Eduardo, remember the past tense, I worked. worked I worked. With T. T. I worked T. Come I on. worked. I worked. Okay. Okay, Eduardo. Ask Jocelyn. Jocelyn, what did you do Sunday? I went to the park. Good, Jocelyn. Ask Ana Beatriz. Uh, what did you do on Saturday? I did not stay at home. Okay. Okay. And what did you what did you do, Ana Beatriz? I work. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay, Anna. Anna, ask, ask Ruth. <laughs> ask Ruth. Uh, Ruth. Ruth. Mm -hmm. Ruth, what did you do? Uh, yesterday. I clean my my room. Okay. Good, Ruth. Ruth, ask ask Alexander. Uh, what what did you do on the Saturday? Alex? Saturday. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. I to I worked very hard all day okay all right alexander ask claudia claudia where did you eat dinner yesterday yeah i i eating um i Ate? I ate vegetable okay. for dinner. Okay. Alex, uh, the question is where, correct? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. yes. Claudia, where? Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I. Donde, um, I ate for dinner in my house. Okay, good, good, Claudia. Claudia, mm -hmm. ask Eric. Eric? Yes. Uh, yep. What did you do shop in, on Sunday? Mm, no, no, no. Uh, Claudia, what mm -hmm. did you in what did you buy on Sunday? Mm, yes. Or 
Shot. ¿Qué quieres preguntar, Claudia? Eh, si fue a comprar, fue de compras el sábado. Ah, ok. Then only, did you shop? Did you shop on Sunday? Um, ah, ok. Did you do, did you do shop, shop on Sunday? Yep, I, I shopped uh, clothes. Okay, I shopped for clothes. Ah, I shopped for clothes on Sunday. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que shop es ir de compras. Entonces, fui, oh, fui de compras para ropa. Fui de compras para compré es I bought. Pero fui de compras es I shopped. I shopped. Teacher, oh. I shopped es como la acción. Yes. Eh, okay. Igual que comprar es la acción, pero shop is, is the, es, la, es la dos. Porque comprar es la acción en la tienda y ir de compras es el, el shop. Shop. Ajá. No necesariamente okay. compraste, pero fuiste de compras. Ok. Ok. Eric, ask Paola. Ok. Paola, what did you do in the morning? Today in the morning. I worked. Okay, Paola. Paola, ask Crisia. Crisia, what do you do? What um, did you do? What did you do? Mm -hmm. In in the Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday. Mm -hmm. I helped my sister-in-law take care of my niece. Okay. Very good. Okay. Any questions? No, teacher. No? No question, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Okay. So the important is we understand. The question is with did. And we can ask what did, where did, who did, but the question is did for the past tense. It's important we we make the answer is the longer answer, okay? Eh, 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 traten de evitar respuestas de tres palabras. Eh, traten de evitar las palabras, por ejemplo, eh, las respuestas, I worked, I studied, I ate. O sea, es bien corto, traten de dar un poco más y se van a ir acostumbrando a hablar más. I worked on Sunday in y la, donde estuvieron. I, I ate or I, I shopped. Eh, y donde fueron de compras. Vayan acostumbrándose a explicar. Porque es, en inglés es a la hora de hacer entrevistas de empleo y hacer las entrevistas para eh, inmigración o cualquier otro. Ellos lo que no les gusta es que les tienen que preguntar varias preguntas para unas respuestas. Entonces, es más fácil simplemente dar una respuesta completa. Okay. Es como, ¿cómo se dice en, en español? Polite. Impolite. Es polite. Sí, es polite, impolite. En inglés es, cuando das una respuesta corta, es... Eh, es impolite. impolite. Uh -huh. Sí. ¿Qué es el Cortante. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. O pesado. Uh -huh. Entonces, ajá. Uh -huh. Tal vez es el miedo de tal vez decir una palabra que no sea la correcta y quizás por eso solo nos basamos en lo en prácticamente lo básico, se puede decir. Exacto. Y eso mismo es lo que los va a mantener en básico. Ese temor a... Eh, eh, tengan por seguro que se van a equivocar. Acéptenlo. Cuando lo aceptan, se les hace más fácil salir adelante porque ya saben que ah, se van a equivocar, pero no importa porque van a ir mejorando cada vez. Eso es lo importante. Okay. 
a mí me enseñaron para, yo le contaba a un compañero aquí en el grupo, uh -huh. que a mí me enseñaron para soltarme, aunque suene ridículo, le dije, pero es bueno hablar así, así, así locamente, pero en, hablar solo. Uh -huh. O sea, a, a crearse sus conversaciones y empezar a hablar y hablar y hablar. A mí eso me ayudó bastante, uh -huh. el soltarme en inglés. Y escuchar música, escuchar música en inglés, series en inglés. Es que todo, Entonces, todo lo que puedes hacer en inglés te va a ir ayudando, pero lo, el, lo que te impide o el obstáculo más grande que vas a tener en inglés en general es tú mismo. Tu mismo temor a equivocarte, tu mismo temor a que se ríen de vos, tú mismo, pero todo eso es en tu mente. Cuando aprendas a que tú mismo te estás bloqueando, todo se te hace fácil. Porque la fluidez va a incrementar, la pronunciación va a incrementar, el deseo de querer participar va a incrementar, porque ya no es, ay, y si me equivoco, sino que ya tu mentalidad cambia a, ah, y si aprendo algo nuevo, y si mejoro mi pronunciación, y si incremento mi fluidez, todo eso cambia cuando cambias tu mentalidad. Eric, ajá, ajá. Uh -huh. ajá, porque eso me dijo, porque yo tengo un compañero aquí cerca, lo tengo en mi casa, que nosotros nos ponemos a practicar y él es, todavía puede aún más que yo, un montón. Entonces él me dijo, vení, empecemos a practicar, me dijo, y cabal, él me literalmente él me dio como el empujón así como para ya poder soltarme yo en inglés Excelente. Y sí, sí sinceramente eso es bueno que escuchen música en inglés ver series en inglés, películas en inglés uh -huh. y hablar con otras personas también, sirve bastante y para eso estamos aquí en el grupo, para hablar con nosotros en inglés, to speak in English pero tenemos que es, estar dispuestos a equivocarnos eso es lo más importante, que muchas veces nos han educado desde pequeños de que si no lo vas a hacer bien, no lo hagas. En cambio, en inglés es, si lo, lo tenés que hacer, lo tenés que hacer malo. Yo, por ejemplo, puedo hablar mal el español, pero se me entiende y eso es como empezar con comunicación. Hey, yo, Eric, hambre, eh, quiero, tengo eh, pizza hoy, comer. A saber qué dije, pero Eric me entendió que hoy yo quiero comer pizza. <risa> Esa es la diferencia. Sí. Pero si tenemos temor de que no sé cómo se pronuncia comer, o es comer, o es comimo, o es comer, o es comerá, o es como un uh, nunca, nunca digo una palabra. Lo mismo con el inglés. No se preocupen, todos nos equivocamos. Lo importante es, es eliminar ese obstáculo. ¿Ok? Entonces, pues cuando... quitarse la pena en que cuando se equivoquen y uno llama. Trata de no, re, no, no, no hacer sentir mal al compañero, sino que tratarlo de ayudar. Porque en, mi, en el curso han pasado donde yo estaba, uh -huh. yo sin querer, yo le dije, no, no se dice así, sino que se dice así. Pero como que el, el, el chero se ofendió, no sé. Pero él pensó que yo lo estaba, lo estaba corrigiendo de una mal forma o me estaba burlando de él y yo nada que ver, va. Sino que uno, pues... Seamos, sí. si, se, si puede ayudar, ayuda, ¿verdad? Exacto. Si no, mejor que hace callado. Sí, pero eh, la, la, el, como mencioné antes, el mayor obstáculo que te vas a enfrentar es ti mismo. El mismo de que, ah, yo, yo me río de otra gente, entonces me siento, cuando la gente me corrige, siento que me se están riendo de mí. ¿Por qué? Muchas veces porque uno mismo lo hace y cree que la otra gente es lo mismo. Muchas veces uno dice, ah, desde pequeño, si alguien se equivoca, ay, se... no, no se preocupen. Vamos poco a poco. Entonces, lo importante es, vamos. Igualmente, tenemos dos semanas. Hoy cumplimos la mitad del curso. Entonces, a esta altura ya debemos de estar dando respuesta a más de tres palabras. ¿Ok? No, yes, I did. No, I ate. No, I played. ¿Ok? Sino que ya. Ya da respuesta. Ah, jugué videojuegos. Perfecto. I played video games. ¿Con quién? With my brother. In my house. Lo que sea que puedan. 
está mal, está mal, pero vamos a ir soltando nomás. Entonces, prepárense mentalmente, tienen el fin de semana, como dice Eric, para empezar a hablar con ustedes mismos de locos, para que el lunes empecemos a hablar otro poco más. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok. No se preocupen. Okay, teacher. Todo es para ayudarles para que empiecen a soltarse un poco más. Time for the beast. All right. Excellent, Daniel. All right. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. See you Monday. See you Monday.